Hey, it's Dave. So OpenAI has just released GPT-4 um, and they had a live stream. They had a blog post today. I've been playing around with a GPT-4 on a chat GPT. Uh, there's an option for plus users uh, to use it. Um, I think it's like 100 requests for every four hours or so. So I wanted to test it out and I'm going to give a real time demo. I don't know how this is going to work out. So I'll show you what I have so far and then we'll uh, see how it turns out. I say, give me a super detailed description of a game that can be coded in 150 lines or less in a one page HTML JavaScript file. It says color match. So let, I'll go over this game. I haven't read it, but I want the code as well. So I say, um, um, uh, we'll say uh, draft. Um, the full one page HTML JavaScript file for this game. Okay. <clears throat> so now it's going to be, um, basically coding, uh, this game. So prior to this, I was, um, kind of coming, coming up with my own games and I notice sometimes it's hard sometimes to have a fully descriptive game with all of the different, you know, uh, elements of the game. And you can take time to do that, but I wanted to do a shortcut and I, so I had chat GPT basically, or GPT four create, um, a very descriptive, right. Um, uh, draft of the game in text. And then I'm having, um, GPT for code the game based off of the descriptive text that they've given. Um, here's a few observations. First off is a uh, GPT four. Um, it seems to be a, a bit slower right now than GPT three, actually significantly slower. I'm guessing they will work on this. Um, you're going to see this improve, I think radically in the next few weeks, a uh, few months as well as they roll out, um, usage as well. Um, and. Um, a few other things is I've tested a couple other type of, um, games, not related to this, but just some, um, ideas. I've noticed that chat GPT or GPT four, um, gives significantly more reliable code. Um, it's not perfect, um, yet, um, there's still some limitations, etc. It doesn't always do exactly what you want to do, but I've been very impressed with the results right now. So what is uh, uh, GPT four doing. So let's look at some of this code here. So, um, it basically is giving, you know, the, the first, uh, intro HTML, it starts with the head section. Um, it goes into a style. So it's actually giving all of the style or the, the font, the placements, all that stuff, um, in a single file, which I asked for rather than a separate, right? A CSS file. So you've got the body it's, uh, determining the font. Um, the color background, you got a container, you got this, you've got some buttons here, and that's the end of the style button style section. And now you're going into the body. Um, it says opening the body tag. You've got color match is going to be the title of the game. And we've got some different, um, classes opening up here. You have a start reset button best time. So it's going to keep track of time and here's a script. So we're having JavaScript just stuck into the one, uh, page file. Um, just wanted to make it super simple. So it gives different colors here and, oh, so it stopped. So I'm going to say, um, is that the complete code? Yeah. So here's one of the problems with, um, with, um, GPT four or GPT three, 3.5, it really cut off code a lot. GPT four in my limited experience, it's much better, but still does that, um, a decent amount of time, especially if the code is long. So that's an issue. So anyways, let, let's, let's look at this game, what this game is. So this is a color match game where players need to quickly match a target color by adjusting the RGB sliders. The goal is to match the target color in the shortest amount of time possible. So you've got target color box. Um, you got the current color box and you got these RGB sliders. You have a timer, start reset button, score display. Okay. Not bad. So the player starts, um, clicks the start reset button, start the game. Um, the target color box displays a randomly generated color. The timer starts counting. 
uh, the player tries to adjust the RGB sliders to match the color. And when they uh, matches the target color, the timer stops. Um, yeah, so, oh, it tells me the HTML structure of how it's gonna do it. And it's gonna tell me the, in, the JavaScript implementation, what it's gonna do. Um, and it's telling me the CSS styling as well. So, not bad actually, GPT-4. Um, all right, so this was the incomplete code. Let's look at this complete code here. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause this um, while it finishes. And then after it finishes, I'm gonna unpause the video and we can look at the... All right, so um, I'm unpausing. So uh, GPT-4 had a bit of a problem. It kept on cutting off um, the one page. Um, so I had it separated into HTML, CSS, and, J and JavaScript files separately. So it did that. So here's the HTML file here. I'll go ahead, I'm gonna create a replet. So here in replet, you can create, um, we'll call it GPT color match. I'll go ahead and make it private for now. And then we're gonna copy the files into, this is the HTML file. Let's go back, let's copy this into the CSS here. Um, let me just make sure, um, yeah, color match.css. I need to, um, I need to copy, this is color match.css. So I need to rename, rename this color match. We'll go back to the JavaScript file. Here's the, yeah, this is the complete JavaScript file here. We're gonna go into here copy it into here, but I need to find out what the JavaScript um, file name is. So it's javascolormatch.js. I'm gonna rename it like that, and then I'm gonna run the program. Let's see, oh my goodness. So here is this color match game. Very cool. So let's start and reset. So I'm gonna have to match this color. Are you kidding me? Come on, that's good enough, no? You're kidding me. This game is way, no, come on. That's like, that's about right. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. How can you make it? How can you match it perfectly? That's almost perfect. Oh man, it needs a little bit more red. Come on, right there. That looks pretty good. A little bit of blue. Yeah, that's pretty much a match. Anyways, yeah, this is a faulty game, um, but impressive by um, <laughs> by um, GPT-4. All right, let's do another um, another game here, another thing. So we go to new chat. We have to manually select GPT-4. There's a cap of 100 messages per hour. So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to make a... HTML JavaScript web page that lets the user input a paragraph of text, submit, press submit, and then make, and then the web page will display the text and read each word of the text for the user while highlighting the word it's reading. All right, so, um, yeah, this is just something I took on my notes since I, I, I don't know what um, it's going to do here, but let's, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, look at um, what it's producing here. So we're gonna have an HTML file first. You'll notice it's creating the head section. Uh, the title is text reader. It's gonna have a yellow background. It's going into the body. It's gonna have text reader text. It's gonna give you an input area, six rows, 50 columns submit text, submit button, and then it's gonna go and load the JavaScript. Okay, not bad. Um, and here's the JavaScript file. It's gonna say, okay, after submitting the text, you take the input text, and then you got output text, and then here's enter some text. Um, it's giving reading words, it's gonna output, okay going to highlight. Wow. Now, if this can really highlight the words while it's reading, it's actually going to be quite impressive. This is not actually that straightforward of a, of a task. Okay. Well, we'll see how it does. So let's go ahead. We'll create another, um, 
replit file here. I'm going to call this GPT read story. Okay. So let's go back and let's copy this HTML file. Okay. We got that done. We're going to copy this script.js file. Okay. Now we can run it. Okay. All right. So here's a text reader. Interesting. So let's go ahead and have chat GPT four create a quick story. So create a super funny story in five sentences or less that contains the characters Biden and Biden and Trump. Okay. All right, so here's, I noticed GPT-4 actually creates much better stories than GPT-3 or 3.5. Um, there's something about it where it understands, I think, humor better and what makes things funny. Um, that's actually one of the, the most impressive first impressions that I have of chat GPT or GPT-4. I haven't read this yet, so I'm going to go ahead, copy this, and then stick it in here, and then let's submit this. One day. Trump and Biden, tired of their political differences, decided to join forces and enter a pie baking competition for charity. To the surprise of all, they named their team the presidential bakers. The crowd couldn't believe their eyes as the two politicians danced around the kitchen tossing dough and cracking jokes but in a hilarious twist they accidentally switched pies each baking the other's signature flavor the judges couldn't stop laughing when they tested trump's biden berry delight and Biden's Trump Tower Apple explosion. Not bad. Um, quite impressive. So let's um, change this around. Um, let's change the code to maybe highlight each sentence as it is read not each word. And um, when the web page reads the paragraph, let's have it read each sentence rather than each word separately. Okay. All right. So let's see what, um, okay. So it's going to give us the new JavaScript file to modify the code and highlight uh, so you can read each sentence. Yes, yeah, so I noticed that it's reading each word. And so it's kind of like, I think what it's doing is it's basically saying the word and then highlighting the word and stopping, right? And doing it. And that's why you got this choppiness to it. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be hard with, because they're using just the web page or the web, just web uh, text-to-speech probably capabilities, which doesn't have a lot probably to, natively kind of highlight and know which word is being read. So I'm just going to change it to read um, each sentence um, and highlight each sentence. Let's go back to JavaScript and let's run it. Okay, let's go ahead to um, do the Trump. One day, Trump and Biden, tired of their political differences, decided to join forces and enter a pie baking competition for charity. To the surprise of all, they named their team the presidential bakers. The crowd couldn't believe their eyes as the two politicians danced around the kitchen, tossing dough and cracking jokes. But in a hilarious twist, they accidentally switched pies, each baking the other's signature flavor. The judges couldn't stop laughing when they tested Trump's Biden Berry Delight and Biden's Trump Tower Apple Explosion. All right. So you notice that the reading is much more f uh, fluent, even though the, the limitation is the web, um, is these web browsers um, functionality with text to speech. It's not that great. So anyways, it, it actually did a great job actually making this app in what, like 
a minute, it just pumped it out. Um, quite impressive. So let's do a couple other things. So let's do this. Let's um, let's say please make um, um a a prompt so that I can input it into Dolly and get an image for this story. Please make the prompt very specific and detailed regarding the specific image. Image. Okay. All right, so it says create an image of Trump and Biden wearing aprons and chef hats standing side by side in a lively kitchen enthusiastically tossing dough in the air. They are surrounded by ingredients like berries and apples with two pies on the counter. That's like crazy. I don't think AI is ready to make that type of image. Um, yeah, that's quite complex there. All right, so for the heck of it, I just inputted that prompt into Midjourney. And these are the images that I got. Um, yeah, Midjourney doesn't do the text well right now, but yeah, it's actually, you know, not bad in terms of images. Um, it's not really Biden and Trump yet, but anyways, Midjourney is uh, supposedly coming up with version five um, this week or next week. And supposedly version five of Midjourney is going to be a significant jump, uh, next level. I mean, we're talking about AI is just going crazy. We're talking about next level GPT-4, next level image creation, next level, we're gonna have music creation, video creation, um, the stuff that's happening every month um, is astounding the pace of AI. Anyways, hope this was um, helpful, quick kind of intro into chat, chat GPT or chat, um, actually GPT 4.0. Um, and yeah, we'll see how this goes and what kind of new capabilities people unfold.